Good morning and welcome to the Ann Arbor News Daily Webcast. Today is Wednesday, October 10, 2007. I'm Larry E. Wright and here are today's stories. Republican candidate and Texas Congressman Ron Paul campaigned at the University of Michigan campus Tuesday evening. After his speech to students, he shook hands and signed posters and other items, including a $10 bill produced by Andrew Schoen, a self-described liberal, who says, he likes Paul's activism of peace. Paul, by the way, voted against the authorization for the Iraq War. United Auto Workers negotiations with the Chrysler representatives continued through the night and early this morning, just hours before the 11 o'clock deadline imposed by the union to reach a tentative agreement. If an agreement is not reached, 49,000 workers will walk off their jobs and man the picket lines at 24 U.S. plants and other sites. The popular men's magazine, Playboy, has a crew in town at a local hotel to do photographs, hair, and makeup of female students from the University of Michigan who would like to be in the Girls of the Big Ten issue. Photographer Kim Manuzo and crew will select at least one student for the spread which will feature students from each Big Ten University in varying degrees of undress, ranging from bikini clad to fully nude. You can watch a video of an interview with a student on our website. This issue will be out later this fall. You can see these stories and more at the Ann Arbor News Breaking News blog at MLive.com and in today's Ann Arbor News.